Salutations wet shavers, here for another shaving video, got my morning cup of joe ready to go. Ethiopian single origin, kosher, slightly light roast, sort of fruity, very nice. Now, today for the shaving video, I've got less than a day's growth on here, uh, I just could not help but to want to shave because I got a parcel today which I've been very excited for and cool, thank you Stephen. <laughs> um, just gonna be using a razor that as soon as I saw it was my favorite looking razor, my favorite design. Uh, I just had to, had to buy one. Uh, Ken, uh, Ken Lee at Ken's Shaving and BSing, check him out. He um, let me purchase this through a mutual friend, Chris, another cut above, he, you know, got him to send it out for me. And what we have is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Alpha Ecliptic. This razor looks so good in person as well. Like in the videos it looks good, but in person you get that like brushed effect and it just looks so nice. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. So what it is, is a non-talking slant. So what non-talking means is it's not actually twisting the blade in any way. What it is, is if you can see the posts are actually higher up here. So technically the blade is flat, it's just twisted. Twisted? No, it's just on a slant. So. I read the whole spiel about it, but what, what they were trying to do was to put the least amount of pressure on a blade just so it makes it less stress on the metal. Whether that makes a difference or not, I don't know. I got it because it looks fucking awesome. <laughs> I can't even just contain that excitement. I needed to say that. And it just looks like a beast. It looks so good. So... I got the idea for my shaving soap and brush from Stephen Suffolk Shaver. He was using the Vylong horsehair and it just made me want to pick it up again. So I've got it soaking here. Vylong, it's pretty sure it's, oh, it's a puny knot. It's like 18 mil or something. Really tiny with a tiny little loft. And I've got it in a shaving mug. But the shaving mug actually has a soap in there. Now what that soap is, is D.R. Harris Windsor. So what we're going to be doing is a traditional barber style shave. Where they have that pack of soap in the bottom, they actually whip up the lather inside this mug. And it, it's actually really fun. It's a, something completely different because you have, if it's too thin, you work closer to the soap. And then when it starts to thicken up, you work, work up closer to the top. So it, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a finesse and, you know, but it's a lot of fun to do. So that's been soaking in there for probably, you know, a good five minutes or so, or maybe more. So we're going to take that brush out. Going to be use, uh, doing a warm water shave today, which I don't normally do. I've been doing the good old Geo Fat Boy of getting the hot towel because I haven't, I didn't have a shower or anything. I'm a night shower person. So just been, I've just been doing this for probably five minutes or so. It's so luxurious. Especially compared to cold water shaves. It does feel nice. Cold water is so much easier though. So I'm going to take that bloom water that's in there and put it onto my face. Next shave cell. I love this soap. Someone put this down as a fougere. Someone was saying, oh, what are some good fougere soaps? And someone's like, you should put D.R. Harris Windsor in there. I don't really put this down as a fougere at all. It's not, it's not ferny. It's slightly citrusy for me. <laughs> Probably looks like I'm about to drink it. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, beautiful scent. I think there's like a bit of patchouli or something in there. Mmm, really nice. 
almost as drinkable as my coffee. <laughs> All right, let's get this lather going. So I'm gonna start it. You normally start off with the brush slightly wet. So just do two flicks and just start working it in there. It starts getting really bubbly at the start. As you can see, it's just starting to bubble a lot in there. So I'm just gonna keep working it in, work in that soap. So I'm probably, again, only gonna do a two pass shave today, but I'll do two cross grains. I don't think I've ever done that before. Just, just try and get a close-ish shave. So yeah, this is where these brushes are phenomenal because look, it's just perfect size for a shaving mug and my hands are completely clean. Meanwhile, there's a deep dish shaving mug building up the lather. So what you do, just push down from the sides, push it into the soap, work it back in again. Just push that lather down and work it back in. Yeah, so it hasn't been long since I did a video, less than 24 hours. But I just saw that razor and I, there was no way I'm not gonna shave with that today. <laughs> I lasted, I lasted what, what's the time? I lasted an hour and a half <laughs> of going, nah, I'll leave it till tomorrow to go and, nah, I'm gonna shave. <laughs> did not last long at all. Oh my God, and Nomeo, you are the giveaway champion. I'm gonna get you to put my name down, mate. He won that uh, Vet of a Planet won by Douglas Smythe, oh, Crown King, Douglas Smythe. And it was just one one from Oleo Soapworks. I'm calling you something that's uh, reminiscent of that soap that you won, pucker. <laughs> Lucky pucker. So this lather is starting to get a lot creamier. So it's starting to get those peaks. There's just a few bubbles left in there, so just keep working it. I love uh, this way of um, whipping up a lather. It's it just, it just makes me feel like a barber. <laughs> I just need the beard, which is sort of hypocritical, hey? Everyone's like, oh, like all the barbers have got all the facial hair, and it's like, man, do you ever shave? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I love shaving. Perfect. I just do that little um, shaping, shape up. All right, that is really close to perfect. Really close. Oh, I love this soap. Amazing performance on D.R. Harris. And that is <laughs> a huge leather. Because this horsehair is a tiny knot, works perfect with bowl lathers because if you run out in the knot then you can go back to the bowl and you basically just got unlimited lather just about so we are going to scoop that leather out and start leathering up to the face oh nah nah not today <laughs> yesterday you got away from me not today I've used this brush probably just over 10 times. It's pretty well broken in now. Very soft. There's the tiniest little bit of scritch for me. And look at that, just straight on. A beautiful fat lather. It's a flather. That's what you should call it, a flather. Really fat leather. So I just applied the flather. And we'll get ready for the shave, eh? Ow. Oh. <laughs> what a brush. What a soap. Really, really nice stuff. Beautiful suds. That's so thick. 
<laughs> wow. It could do with more water, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it at the flather point. Wow. And you can just throw, throw the brush back in the bowl. Spilt a little bit. Right there. Made the lather brown. Okay. Now, this Alfred Cliptic is loaded with a pole silver. This and the Perma Sharp are my two favorite blades, so I generally use either one of those. The Pulse Silver is ever so slightly, for me, sharper than the Perma Sharp, but it's ever so slightly not as smooth, but it still m makes for a brilliant shaver. I thought this was like a very mild razor. I mean, it doesn't look it, it looks like a fucking animal. And now everyone's been like, oh, it's going to be a bloodbath, be careful, it's aggressive. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> we only got not even a day's growth. Oh. Now, that's not super aggressive. That is, that's beautiful. Wow. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. God, that's so cool how it's got like the tunnels in there. That's awesome. But it does actually sort of clog up, but I reckon that's because this leather's, this flather is so damn thick. Ever so slightly steeper angle than a regular DE. Still, no pressure. Even though this is aluminium, it's a. This is such a solid feeling aluminium too. By the way, like this feels so high quality. This is my. School, school mug, how cool is that? It's got all the names printed on. And I love that it's old style. I love square shaped mugs. They just look cool. Show that to my kids and they'll be like, how old are you, 200? Wow. I mean, it's efficient. It's really efficient. <laughs> but. So damn smooth. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, because I got no residual slickness and I know that this is a slick soap. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Loving this already. Love is in the air. I went back and watched some people's videos. I realized I missed some. So I went back and watched Manny SoCal Shaves. Some brown man shaves and some Suffolk shaver. Watch that Fougere Sunday. He was he was playing all these songs that 
uh, in my playlist, I'm like, Stephen, you little raver. And I think someone put in the comments, <laughs> the Suffolk raver. <laughs> That's brilliant. The Suffolk raver. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a dip of water and then just go back into the shaving mug. some more hydration into it. It's looking a wee bit parched. So, we'll apply that on and then add water if needed. Mm. Lather's flying off this brush. few lathers or normally just one lather every day with my shave mac really trying to break it in get get those tips hooked it's getting there getting there so I've only probably lathered that one up about eight or nine times I think so apparently the breaking periods around 25 30 For something like a two band silver tip. Beautiful. I'm getting quiet now just because it's just a breeze to use. The real test will be with a few days growth, which I'm going to do next. That'll be my next shave. I'll use this again. I'm thinking of actually doing a den run through after this video. So I'll make up that decision as I'm going. It's just, yeah. Yeah, I could probably do one. That's beautiful. Not at TAFE College for pl um, yeah, plumbing today. They've got an open day on. Most of the kids there are school kids. 
and to just to throw a spanner in the works, I'm not a school kid, I'm 20. I finished school. <laughs> no, I look 12. So the, they've got an open day on, so a bunch of other kids from high schools will be coming in today. And I just said to them, is it, is it worth it? Because, you know, I paid for this, not, not a school. And they were like, oh, doesn't doesn't really matter, we're not gonna be doing much. Now all my mates are saying that they're digging holes at the moment. <laughs> for, for the class. <laughs> yeah, so they're not learning anything today. So, and I said, that's not worth my money, I'm not going. I'd much rather actually be able to have two days off in a working week. So that's what I decided to do. So I have today off, which I'm really glad that I did, because now I've got my Alpha Ecliptic. Just working up the lather again. So even more water just put in here. It just explodes each time you put water in there, because there's a soap just to explode. Oh, it's, I love this soap. I need to use this shaving mug more often. It's really nice. This is completely stuck in there. There's no way I'm getting it out. It fits perfectly. And then once I put the hot water in there, it just sunk in and there's no way I'm getting it out, which is fine with me because it's going to get used. So I always have this sitting on my bench. I've got everything. I've got all my razors and all my brushes on my bench. And then all my soaps are in the cupboards. You know what I'm really surprised about? No weepers. Slants generally give me a bit of weeper, uh, a few weepers. They uh, they generally give me more weepers than a double uh, a regular non-slant. <laughs> In a regular straight bar razor, but they give me a more comfortable shave. It's odd. I get more weepers, but more comfortable shave. A little bit more water. Hmm. Beautiful brush. Still got a decent splay because it's got a decent loft. It's not like a ball brush or anything because they're the best but still very good. All right. And then that makes it possible for thick leathers every pass. I love that brush. Another sip. Oh yeah. I was only going to do two passes, but this is a lot more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. Yet it's more efficient than I thought it was going to be. I think Stephen's right though. I could have gone with a slightly smoother blade. It's not uncomfortable, but I think a perma sharp would be perfect. Or like a, a derby blade or something. There we are, I've got a chin weeper. And normally with slants, because they're so damn efficient, I'll have a comfortable shave, put the aftershave on and go, holy shit. <laughs> so I'll, I'm gonna use Penel Clubman because I got such good results with it yesterday with the citrus mask. So prepare for me to just go, Huh. 
We've changed. Uh, it's a V8 supercar, so most of you guys wouldn't know. They just changed one of the names of the events. Clipsal 500 to just Adelaide 500, so got enough money to not need a sponsor now. They're talking about the performers, I don't give a shit, I just want the cars. I love my racing. Cars, coffee, wet shaving, they are my three absolute favourite things. And pasta. <laughs> what a razor. Wow. <laughs> Probably my favourite DE now. That is close. That's really close and I didn't even do against the grain. That's really close. Wow. Still just after a day's growth, I'm not used to a daily shave. I used to always daily shave. But lately I've just been doing the, you know, build up and let the, let the, um, what was I going to say? Let my face heal. So I'm just going to do cold water splash. Keep forgetting I need to do that after warm shave. Alum block. Can you see my cut that I got there with that SE1? <laughs> yeah, a bit of feedback. It's not too bad. I've had worse. But yeah, there is a bit of feedback. I can't wait to use this on a few days growth. And I'll check the battery life on my phone and I might actually just do this um, hardware and software because my hardware one deleted. But that's all right, I'll do a quick run through. You can pretty much see it all anyway. So I'll do that run through. I'll try to be sort of quick with it. Should be good. Been having a few people asking. So, everything all closed up, all nice. All right. Aftershave, pin out Clubman. Oh, that is just a classic barber shop on the citrus side. Rinse off the alum. Very nice. Awesome shave. I'm so happy with that razor. Mm. I mean, look at that. That's just ridiculous, isn't it? I love light razors too. I mean, I don't really have a preference, so using that's awesome. It's like, like this open comb slant. I enjoy using that, even though it's super light. All right, got a bit of Panera Clubman here. This will probably sting. Oh yeah. Mm. The Panera stuff though is a very controlled burn. It's not like a big sting like a oh. It's very controlled. It sort of slowly comes in, just sort of lingers. And then so does the scent. That citrus musk stayed with me from, when did I shave? I think I shaved at like 11 or 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And it, I could smell it when I got home at like 8.30, 9 o'clock, so. If you, if you want something to last all day, all through a work day, 
That'll be a good one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now Clubman. I've been trying to keep the amount of products that I use in my face down a little bit. So th 30 minute shave, that's not too bad for three passes, 10 minutes per pass. Uh, that, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> we'll just run through what I went, uh, used today. Sorry, my coffee hasn't hit me yet, so my brain's still a little bit, uh, a little bit behind. Star of the show, the absolute king of DEs now for me, this. The PAA Alpha Ecliptic. They've just come back in stock as well, so jump onto Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements website, pick one up. That is ridiculous. If you don't mind slightly light razors, it weighs pretty similar, maybe slightly lighter than a Gillette Tech, which is a lighter, lighter razor. How about a 34C? Oh, 34C is way heavier. The DE89, still a bit heavier. Yeah, it, it's a light razor. No getting around it, but it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like a cheap light. It's a very well-constructed light. This is gorgeous, gorgeous razor. So I'm gonna use that on my next shave, definitely, with a few days growth, and we'll see how well that slant goes. The Pulse Silver Blade in there, first use. I'll probably use a Permasharp or something in the next one, but that was fantastic. Brush for today, the Vylong Brown Horsehair. Brown Horsehair. Get that mad band on it like they do in some pictures. Oh yeah, it smells great. I love that soap. Speaking of the soap, DR Harris Windsor. And I'm a winking man, wait, winking man shaving mug. Absolutely performed stellar. This gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And then we had Penaud Clubman as the aftershave. We had the Osma Allen block. And that's it. That's all we used in the shave today. So I hope the, uh, I hope your day's been good. I'm gonna try and enjoy the rest of mine. I'm gonna make another coffee after that. Oh, tastes so good. AeroPress, really good stuff. <laughs> Anyways, take care guys. I'm gonna probably do my hardware and software run through now. So hopefully both of those will post up tonight. So yeah, that's everything. Take care guys, stay safe and have some splendid shaves. See ya.